Hide selection is a feature that not many people use, but it's a shortcut that I showed in this video and one that I highlight in my Illustrator Shortcuts freebie. Anytime I talk about it, I can never remember a good example of why it's such a great feature, but I was tutoring a student recently and I found a great example to share with all of you. If you're a seasoned Illustrator user, at this point, you're probably looking for shortcuts, tips and tricks to make you faster and to use Illustrator more effectively. So if this is you, I would first recommend you also watch this video and download my shortcuts freebie document and I'll link it in the description. One of the shortcuts listed in the document is the one I'm talking about today hide selection. The reason it came up is that I was talking about how to use the gradient tool on this graphic. As you can see, there are a lot of thin objects grouped very close together, which can make it difficult to see the object attributes when they're all selected. So for instance, when I added this gradient to the graphic while it's selected, you can't even see the color. Now you might say, why is this a big deal? Just deselect. The problem is I wanted to make some updates to the color placement of the gradient. And one of the cool things about using the gradient tool in Illustrator, and they finally added this to Photoshop, is that you can edit the color on the object so you can truly see where the gradation of color lands. But when it looks like this, it's damn near impossible to see what you're doing. So this is when you go to View, Hide Edges. It gets rid of the blue selection so that now I can actually see the color in the graphic. When I did this, my student was like, oh wow, right. And if I want to revise the placement of the gradient on the graphic, I can actually see what I'm doing. Interestingly enough, many of my students actually stumble on this. I don't know if they're trying to group or join and instead of pressing Control J or Control G, they press Control H and then all their selection lines disappear. I've actually had a few people call or email me about this, a little frantic, because they're like, what happened to my blue lines? Everyone's happy that it's an easy fix though. And when you accidentally hit Control or Command H, it can be a little nerve wracking. But when you actually want those selection lines out of the way so you can see what you're doing, this is a really helpful shortcut. Thanks for watching today's video. For more Illustrator for Fashion Design shortcuts, you can click the link in the description for a free downloadable cheat sheet. And if you're new to Illustrator for Fashion Design and want step-by-step -step instruction to show you how to use Illustrator as a fashion designer, make sure you check out the link in the description to my course or my beginner's manual. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.